Okay, hi guys, this is Moment with Patrick Cynthia and on today's episode, we are going into the streets. You know one thing I love about street interviews? Because you get to meet with different personalities and you get to see people with their own opinions. So that is exactly what we are going to do today. We are going into the streets of Abuja for this interview. One thing I like about street interviews is because they have so many personalities, so many personalities, so many opinions on every topic. So follow me as I go into the street, okay? Remember guys, this episode is sponsored by Amor of God's Apparel. We have a moment with Patrick Singh here and I would love to ask you some questions, can I? Alright, go ahead. Okay, in a wedding, between the bride and the groom and the parents, who do you think is responsible for footing the bills? The groom. What do you say? The groom, the groom. The groom. Why do you say so? Because basically uh, it's a man's responsibility to take care of once you're ready for marriage. Yes. I think it's your responsibility as a man to take care of the wedding ceremony. So, yes. Because aside the wedding ceremony, you have to also pay the traditional diaries, which is also the responsibility of the groom. Yeah. Okay, some people say like it's the responsibility of the parents because they're sending out the girl. So they think that it's the responsibility of the girl, the girl's parent, to foot the bills for the girl to go to her husband's house. As I said earlier, it's really. Do you deep. agree with that? Uh, it's relative, as I said earlier. It's relative. Okay. Like some places in the northern northern part, yes. the parents send send the girl for. But in the eastern part, where we, where I come from, basically the groom. Whose responsibility is it to foot the bills? Is it the bride and groom or the parents? What do you think? Let me start with you. The responsibility. Yes. Uh, before to born and marry, they don't get money to arrange marriage now. <laughs> <laughs> so they will pay. Ah, yes, they will, they will assist them. But yes. the main money is the couple now. The couple, right? Yes. What about you? Yes, yes, <laughs> money. <laughs> Same thing. Yes, good. Yes. Oh, correct. Thank you so much for having you on this show. Okay. Hello. <laughs> okay. So in a wedding ceremony, a wedding is about to come. Who do you think is responsible for footing the bills? Is it the bride and the groom or the parents? Can I switch to pigeon? Of course, please. All right. Um, see, this thing no be no be no be two way thing. Yeah. Eh? Everybody with a pull hand. <laughs> now wedding, now wedding ceremony. At the end of the day, now marriage, now yes, the, the, the real marriage now for house. Yes. So wedding now just one day something. Where str now strangers they come fit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so everybody has to put hands in exactly. that. It's not just one person something. Yeah. But I think 90% of the time of, I, I think attended weddings and all that, it's always um, the couple that does things together. Yes, majority. Yeah. Of yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is it how it's supposed to be? If I decide to, if I decide to share culture, I, I don't, I don't like. See, that, there's, a, there's one thing about me. I don't like culture. <laughs> I'm not a fan of culture or religion. I just do what is right. <laughs> Most people believe that it's the right of the parents of the bride to, you know, send her off, do her wedding for her, and send her to her husband's house. What do you think about that hmm. cultural perspective? Ah, uh, which tribe be that first? <laughs> <laughs> in general, I want to, I want to know the particular tribe because I'll I'll feel like attacking that tribe now. Oh my god! Okay. Generally, well, uh, everybody to his own culture. But me, I'm not a fan of culture. If I can foot the bills, I'll foot it. If she can, she'll foot it. If her family can, they should do it. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. My name is Cynthia. May I know your name? My name is Chinwe. I'm Queen. Favor. Favor. Nice to meet you all. So on today's moment with Patrick Sinti, I just want to ask you guys a simple question. Right. It might not be all that simple, but it's pending. <laughs> all right. In a wedding, we have the bride and the groom. We have the parents. So who do you think is responsible for footing the bills? Oh my God. Okay, let me go on this. In the bride side, okay. it's actually her parents. I relate it. Correct. This is the first time I'm hearing something different actually. Yeah, of course. Why? Why did you say so? Because it's their responsibility to see that she's settled down in a good home comfortably. Okay. Yeah. While in the bright side, she should be the one responsible for sponsoring the like crowd that will come for the wedding. Okay. And in the north. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In the north. Well, surprising thing, I'm from the north. Okay. Oh. So in the north, we make sure that... Where in the north? 
Are you ah, sure? Adam, more precise. Okay, correct. Okay, so the bride family are actually the ones sponsoring most of the wedding, yeah. especially the home, like yeah, not the thing. like every celebration, home. the yeah. home, like the bed, the television, the fridge, like almost everything in the home. For the guy, it's just like get a home. And everything inside. Oh, guys, guys are really enjoying in Adamawa. <laughs> like, the guys in Adamawa are really enjoying. <laughs> yeah, you can see that. I <laughs> wow. Well, actually, like she said, um, you know, it's, it's a cultural something. Yeah. We really don't have much say on it. Yeah, okay. right. Like me, I'm from the east, but I was raised in the north, in Medugri okay. precisely, Borno State. Yeah. So there's a particular tribe in Borno State. It's called Bura. Some okay. people call them Babru also. Okay. So that particular tribe now, when you're getting married, you as the bride, in fact, the only thing your husband will do is to just provide the house. Oh. Every particular wow. thing you use, house. you furnish it yourself. Wow. Your own is, is the, either the man chooses to rent, rent the house or um, buy the house, or that's just his own. But you buy the cushion, the, the, the everything, fridge, TV, AC, name it, you provide it. So that's wow. their own cultural, you know. The guys in your but villages my, are enjoying it. For me, I'm an Igbo girl. And from the wedding, they are enjoying it. Me, I'm an Igbo girl. And from most weddings I've attended, and yeah. based on how I know my culture, okay. um, about 80% or 70 to 80% of expenses incurred during wedding is mostly carried out by the groom's family. Okay. Yeah, the man. Thank you so much for your opinions. Do you have something to add to this? That's You're fine. fine. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, ladies. Can yes. you wave to my camera? Hello. Yeah, my name is Cynthia. May I know your name, ma? Mrs. Father Yomi. Mrs. Father Yomi. So, may I know your name? Father Yomi, show me. Mr. Father Yomi and Mrs. Father Yomi. Pleased to have you guys here. Please, I just have one question to ask. Bride and groom, and there's the bride parent and the groom parents. Who do you think is their right to put the wedding bills? I think it's the duty of the two parents to come together and foot the bill. If they are both financially okay, they can okay. put their resources together. Otherwise, we look into who is more richer than the other. Okay. But I think it's just a thing of joy and it, it depends on the parents. But mostly, it should have been a good thing if the two parents can join us together because they are both celebrating their children, both for the groom and also for the bride. Yes. Thank you. Ma, what about you? What do you think about this? I think the marriage should be a collaborative effort. It's supposed to be something that the father, the mother, the, that's the groom to be, the bride to be, to come together and fit in the bills. You shouldn't leave it for the groom family, neither should the groom family leave the responsibility to the bride family also. The both of them have to come together for the success of the marriage. Thank you very much. Please, can you say hi to my camera? Thank you.